Assembling your new Broilmaster grill is pretty simple. We'll provide an overview, but read and follow the instructions that came with your grill. Before unpacking or handling your grill, wear gloves to protect against sharp edges. Start by unpacking the grill components. Remove the hinge pins from the back of the grill and set them somewhere safe. Start assembling the cart by inserting the four casters into the cart base, making sure to put the locking casters in the front. If you plan to bolt your cart to the deck or patio, you can skip the wheel installation. Attach the two side walls to the front wall. Leave the screws slightly loose. You will tighten them after the next step. Attach the assembled walls to base, pushing the front panel forward to form a slight curve. Install the rear brace using only the top screws for now. You will add the other screws a bit later. Install the rubber guard and the bushing to the front of the cart. The igniter wires will pass through the bushing. Tighten the screws on the cart base before we turn our attention to the grill head. Note, if you're using a cart, place the drip cup support on the post before you attach the grill head. Insert the burner hold down screw through the bottom of the grill casting and secure it with the nut. Use four bolts to attach the bottom casting to the cart. If you're installing a post, you'll use the inside bolt pattern. If you're installing side shelves, do so now. Make sure the hole in the bracket aligns with the hole in the grill. Attach the two supports to the bottom of the shelf. Tighten one, but leave the other a little loose. Attach the shelf brace. Again, tightening one screw and leaving the other slightly loose. Hang the shelf onto the pins on the shelf bracket and tighten all of the screws. Place the wind deflector in the bottom of the grill. Make sure the stainless shield is in place and then insert the two studs on the control panel through the holes on the front of the grill. On LP grills, the hose and regulator needs to hang down on the inside of the cart. Attach the control panel with the two locking nuts. Attach the igniter grounding wire to the burner. Bend up the burner hold down tab slightly and then insert the burner into the grill, making sure the igniter wires route through the square hole without getting pinched. Bend down the burner hold down tab onto the screw and insert the pin. Connect the two igniter leads to the spade connectors on the bottom of the igniter button. There's no positive or negative, so either can connect to either lead. Unscrew the top from the igniter button and insert the AA battery with the positive end up. Replace the igniter button and press it. You should hear a rapid ticking that indicates it's working. Install the control knobs to the valve stems. Note that you need to push down slightly to turn the knobs. Angle the heat shield up into the back of the cart. Attach the back of the shield to the cart using two screws. Attach the tank retainer to the inside of the cart with the screw and wing nut. Always use the tank retainer to keep the LP cylinder from shifting or falling out when you move the grill. Insert the grease cup. Use a little dish soap to lubricate the foam grip and slide it onto the center of the handle. Attach the handle to the grill lid with two screws. Place the grill lid onto the grill. Insert the hinge pins and clip them on with the cotter pins. Open and close the grill to make sure it moves smoothly. Set the briquette rack into the grill casting. Place the Flare Buster ceramic plaques onto the rack, leaving very little space. Or install the rack and the Charmaster briquettes, placing the pieces as uniformly as possible. Hold on to any extras. They can deteriorate over time and will need to be replaced. Insert the warming rack pins into the holes in the grill lid and lightly bend in the bottom pins slightly. Let them spring into place in the holes in the bottom casting. If you have a smoker shutter, unscrew the knob from the threaded control rod. Tilt the smoker shutter frame up at the back and open the shutters slightly until you can slide the threaded control rod through the hole in the front of the grill. 
screw the knob onto the rod, and then open and close the shutters to make sure they operate smoothly. If you have a lid prop, install it now with the black knob outside the grill and nuts and spacer inside. Make sure you have the washers, spacer, and nut in the correct sequence. Place the cooking grids inside the grill. Most Broilmaster grills feature multi-level grids. H-series grills have single-level grids. If you have a griddle, insert the leveling screws. Once you have the grill in place and before you light it, leveling the griddle with the screws will help you make perfect pancakes. Before using your Broilmaster, lightly oil the cooking grids and preheat it for about 15 minutes. Your grill is now ready for a lifetime of great outdoor cooking. If you ever need accessories or parts for your grill, contact your Broilmaster dealer.